Today we are talking about a very important topic that is machine homing. Machine homing is one of the most important parts for a CNC machine. Simply because without knowing the reference or the position of each axis, you can't use your machine. Things such as job fixtures, jigs, and automatic tool changes simply can't work without homing. Let's first understand how homing works. Homing works by moving the axis to a predefined position where we have a sensor or a switch and then using that location as the reference point. Today we will be using our homing sensors and as these homing sensors don't have any moving parts, it makes them really accurate and reliable. The next step is to mount these sensors on the machine. For the x-axis sensor we can mount at this location. If we look at the machine from the side, we can see that the y-axis on the front does not have enough room for us to install the sensor and that is the y0 location. But as we have enough room at the back, we can safely install the sensor at the back. So this looks like a good place for the y-axis sensor. The z-axis sensor can be mounted here. Okay, so we have mounted and wired all the homing sensors and we can quickly check the sensors by looking at the green LEDs. For this demonstration, we will be wiring the sensors to the first three inputs on the MESO. Input 1 will be the Y-axis sensor input, input 2 will be the X-axis sensor and input 3 will be the Z-axis sensor. Next we need to go to the F1 screen and assign this as homing sensor inputs. Let's go to the inputs list, go to input 1, set it as y-axis homing input, input 2 as x-axis homing input, and input 3 as z-axis homing input. Please also note that all homing inputs must show low when not triggered. If you get a normally high signal from your sensor or the switch, you can invert that signal by pressing the space key. At this stage, we can also check if the wiring to the sensors is okay by looking at the sensor status changing from low to high. As the final step, we now need to set up the homing sequence. You can set up your own homing sequence as required, but for this example, we will be first homing the z-axis away from the workpiece and then homing the x and the y-axis together. For sequence 1, let's select the z-axis so it's home first. And for sequence 2, we will select the x and the y-axis so both x and y are homed together. Press escape to save and exit. Let's go to the F2 screen and home the machine by pressing Ctrl, Alt and Home key. The z-axis moved up, but the x-axis is moving in the wrong direction, away from the sensor. So let's stop that by pressing the escape key. To fix this issue, let's go back to the homing settings screen and invert the direction for your x-axis home. Press escape to save and exit. Okay, let's home the machine again. The x-axis is moving in the right direction towards the sensor and so is the y-axis and we have completed the homing cycle. So homing has finished but looking at the axis location the x and the z-axis location is fine but for the y-axis it's showing zero but whereas our machine is at its position 300 as we mounted the sensor towards the back. Let's fix this by going back again to the homing settings and now go to the y-home position and rather than having location 0, we will put 300. Save settings and exit. And let's rehome the machine. Now the Y axis is showing its right position at 300. To avoid any issues without homing the machine, it's a good idea to set up request home on startup and e-stop. By doing this, Meso will first request the user to home the machine after power up and only then be able to use or run any G-code. 
Let's power up the unit after saving these settings. And as we can see, we have two alarms on the screen. One is for the e-stop. Let's press and release that button. Now the controller is requesting to home the machine. Let's home the machine by pressing Ctrl Alt Home. And now the controller is ready to run your G-code files. So as you saw, it's very easy to set up and wire the homing sequence. Only with the proper homing setup, the machine can be used to its full potential. We hope you liked the video and please give us your feedback and comments. For more information, please click the links below in the description.